Hey everybody, my name is Silip, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game called Quintet. I am here with developer Carmine, and he's going to tell us what the game's about and uh, basically explain how to play. So uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, Carmine. Cool. Hey, uh, my name is Carmine. I'm from uh, New York City, and I am uh, re really new to doing game development. I've been a programmer for many, many, many years, and uh, within the past bunch of years, I got into making games. And um, Quintet um, came from, I've been a kind of a Trek fan for a long time. You know, I go, uh, you know, I go to conventions, I got the outfits, I have like a Christmas tree full of spaceship ornaments and stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. And um, I'm, I'm actually really terrible at games. Um, and I um, wanted to do something that was cooperative. So I, um, awesome. so I kind of took me liking Star Trek and me wanting to do something cooperative and kind of smush them together into this game. Okay, cool. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. um, it's called Quintet because we're going to have five players in a game, correct? Yeah. So basi okay, cool. basically, up to five players can control one ship. Um, there's Captain, Helm, uh, Tactical, Engineering, and Science. Um, okay. The game also features a, a single player ship and a, a two player ship, and there's a special three-player ship that I have for the um, uh, Kickstarter for Kickstarter backers, and what's neat is you know a, a ship with five people can play alongside um, a single-player ship or a duet-player ship. Um, okay, cool. So you could get like a whole fleet going if you had people. Yeah, like if you know if you got a buddy who's just in the middle of nowhere, they can just hop on. We're gonna, we, could, we could probably blow someone up right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> someone is like uh, sabotaging my interview by firing on us all the time. Here. I know, right? <laughs> we gotta take this take, Iron Maiden. We gotta take out this guy. I was an Iron Maiden fan growing up, but not not this kind of Iron Maiden here. <laughs> <laughs> see if my buddies, yep, they're, they they figured it out. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, cool. So I'm currently uh, tactical, which means I'm controlling the weapons. Uh, what are the other roles? Okay. So, um, the captain's job is kind of to coordinate everybody, um, to kind of call out targets and kind of get everyone... Oh, we got of, him. Yeah, nice. Kind of get everyone doing the same thing, you know? Okay. Um, the um, helm's job is to fly around. Um, basically, I mean, the helm is really important. He needs to kind of, you know, help you get your shots lined up so that people can target all these, all these bad guys flying around here. Uh, tactical handles weapons. Um, it's kind of one of the more, it's kind of a fun role there. Engineering's job is to actually, you know, um, I keep always saying more power to the shields and stuff like that. The engineer's job is to boost engines, boost shields and stuff like that. And the engineer can also repair the hull. He can um, switch our shield frequency and he can hack other ships and take, do take down their shields or take down their weapons and stuff like that. Okay, and cool. And the science officer, um, does all this kind of special stuff. He can scan a ship to find out its shield frequency, and if your weapons match their frequency, um, then you can get through their shields. And he can use a tractor beam, use a tractor beam, which is a lot of fun um, to pull around other bad guys or push them into another bad guy or push an asteroid or something like that. Oh, I think we got all the targets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, we failed. Well, because we we, <laughs> we, uh, we we blew up uh, something like that. Okay, cool. Or we blew someone up. Um, so. That's essentially uh, the deal. So um, yeah, each each role has its kind of own like little flavor to it. And like okay. I, like I said, um, if you're you know you don't need to be in the same room, you can play over the internet on one ship. You can have a whole bunch of five player ships, a bunch of singles, and a bunch of fives all together in different missions. And they each have different things that are kind of fun about them. Cool. Um, speaking of which, they can also. Uh, be like on an Android mobile device. Is that correct? Yeah. So the Kickstarter is to raise money so I can do the Android devices. Um, the Kickstarter is successful. So when that Kickstarter ends on June 8th, I will um, get the license so I can build for Android. I already have awesome. built it onto my Nexus 7 using like a trial key kind of thing, and it yeah. works. It works uh, fine on the Nexus 7. It's it's really the game feels great on a tablet. Like it, it just looks very sci-fi console-y, you know, on a tablet. Yeah. Um, and I added a new stretch goal, which is to make it work on Ouya. And okay. Cool. So many of um, people backing my project have asked about Ouya support, 
And, my, you know, they're like, we want to play this on a big screen TV, you know? And yeah. And I'm like, I'm with you. <laughs> so um, it, it'll take, I mean, the game is really meant for tablet and mouse, so we'll need a lot of uh, adjustments to work on the controller. Yeah. Um, but um, I'm totally into uh, into it. So um, I'm approaching that goal, and I think it'd be great, you know, that on one ship, I could have a Mac, a PC, a Linux box, an Android device, an iOS device, or an Ouya all on one ship. You know, yeah, that's I mean, awesome. That's that's really. I don't think any game is doing that. You know. Yeah, I I don't know of any, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, why don't we hop into one of the more intense okay uh, this, scenarios this here? This transport escort one is going to okay. be a bit more in, uh, intense kind of thing. Um, essentially, this transport ship's trying to get a certain distance away, and once it does, it kind of warps away. But there's a whole bunch of bad guys who keep. Um, uh, spawning and uh, trying okay, to Okay, so we're going to have to, like, up. escort it? Yeah, so basically we just got to kind of, like, make sure we fend off all these um, bad guys. So jump on the tactical right. again. Sounds good. Oh, someone else jumped tactical. Jump on uh, engineering, maybe. Alright, I'll try that out. Okay, cool, cool. Um, luckily no one's taking my, my helm here. Oh, yeah, if so someone... I can I can give us an engine boost. I can yeah, boost our boost, shields. Boost the, uh, boost the engines. There you go. You see a ship's moving a little faster now. Okay, awesome. Um, and then um, we need to call out some target. Uh, let's no, I'll take us in a little closer. Uh, so you're currently the captain, I'm but because nobody's in helm, you're I able can, to. Yeah, I can just switch to it. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, target drone two. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna boost our torpedo. There you go. Nice. So you see that transport ship's getting. See, we've got this. We got this drone. Oh, there we go. We got this drone's attention now. <laughs> yeah. Cool, awesome. awesome. All right, cool. All right, he's getting shot at. Uh, target drone one. Excuse me, I'm like shut my voice chatting. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Now this there thing, we go. something's cloaked out there, but you can see its trail. From, oh, there we go. Okay, he's see up. it. Now watch. When we get close enough to this guy, you can hack him and drop his weapons. So click on that okay. cruiser to target him. To drop his weapons. Our buddies might blow him up by the time we get there anyway. Harry. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. I, I didn't click it quick enough, but I see it now. Okay, cool. So I'll try that. Okay. You can also boost the engines of this transport, like target this transport ship. And since he's Okay, a, since and I can he, boost his since engines. He, yeah, since he's a friendly, it'll boost him. If he was um, a bad guy, I'll like, uh, you know, take down and stuff. Let's just mess these awesome. Up. I could boost his shields and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, something oh. else fun we can do is... Um, Um, so <laughs> it's funny. We're trying to, to type and I'm, talk I'm, I'm at trying the same to like time. Type and talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a lot of these guys, these guys play a lot, so they're pretty cool. Like they can, uh, okay. they, they, they know if I'm pointing at someone, I probably want them to do something about it. You know? Yeah. So these guys are backers. Um, yeah, they're backers and this, uh, bands. Hey guys, why don't you tractor beam one of those drones? My science, right, officer, my science officer wakes up. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, tractor down, oh, he says. Boost, boost the tractor beam. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we just, nice. so what happened is you boosted a tractor beam, which gives it more force. And, um, um, you know, force equals mass times acceleration. So we just tractor pulled that drone into us and blew it up. Awesome. Which, which gives us hull damage and stuff like that. Um, yeah, see, now he's getting a little, okay. But yeah. The, the problem is if we keep tractor pulling people, you know, keep John Deering these things to death, we're going to, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to blow up because our hull. Yeah, but if all our weapons are recharging or yeah, something, yeah. that could be useful. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's handy. Yeah, it's handy if the weapons are disabled, you can just, um. What I should have done is then boosted our engines straight into it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, we need to just use some fuck. So what we can do is, um, um, when we fight one of these ships, he's saying E. So he's he's telling the other guy if you use frequency E on our laser, it will go through that guy's shield and stuff. Like okay. That. So will all weapons go through any shields just even the, if they're um, not on just, the just, same just, frequency? Just the, just the laser. Okay. The laser fires instantly. Where like the the other things are a projectile, you know. Okay. We need to fight. We got, we're missing some bad guys here. All right, let's target drone five. There he is. Um, 
Alright, I'm gonna disable his engines. Yeah, I watched that. There you go. Oh, there he goes. Now, right, now he's, he's stuck. stuck. Now. Yeah, great nose. Awesome. And then now we... There we go! <laughs> Very cool. So, uh, you mentioned that more ships can be in the same game. Right, that, right. So, we could have, uh, how many total in a game? Um, theoretically, it could be... I don't want to use the word lots, but I've had, <laughs> you know, um, you know, like it's like 255 or something, you know, um, I've had about 11 ships with 30 people across them. Oh, wow. Um, and one game where it was like five people, one ship, a couple singles. And, um, somebody posted about my game on Reddit and it just brought like a ton of people to my game. Yeah. You know, I was like, I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. I just like went on, went on, to, went on to my game, and I'm like, there's 30 people here. I'm like, what's <laughs> I'm like, what happened? And I talked, to, and people like, oh, we saw a post on, on Reddit, uh, gaming, whatever. And then um, I was like, what? And then, <laughs> so yeah. it was, it was to, uh, but it, that's the kind of like the most I've seen um, of people come on, and maybe at 11 ships with 30 cool. people in one thing, which is amazing. It looks, it looks great. Like if you just sit still, there's this crazy stuff happening everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and the demo is open to anybody, right? Yeah. Um, Not just backers right now? Yeah, yeah. So basically, um, there's a bunch of scenarios, and um, the first bunch of scenarios are free, and then it's like a $2 upgrade to get the rest of, of the scenarios. Okay. And the way I set it up is it's attached to your account. So if you um, you can just PayPal me on my website and for the $2. So if you play on your desktop or your laptop or your I whatever. Um, yeah. As long as you log in as that account, you have access to everything. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry. Like, buy it on your iPhone and buy it on Android. It's just the one-time thing, and you're good for all the devices. Um, okay, awesome. For the duration of the Kickstarter, I just kind of made all the levels free so that everyone can kind of play them and check them out and just kind of... Yeah, definitely. Keep, ...keep people, like, you know, that's just, you know... Cool. So uh, I'll definitely go ahead and include a link for the, the download in the description of this yeah, video. Sure. Yeah, And, uh be awesome to see a game with that many people in it. I'm yeah, interested um, in that. <laughs> what we can do is, um, uh, I'll tell these guys, um, next let's do Battle Royal. Um, so is there a, yeah, so, sorry to interrupt, is there like PvP as well yeah, as cooperative? Absolutely. Yeah, so right now, um, right now, um, you could just really shoot anyone anytime you want to. Um, okay. I have in an update I'll have in a couple of weeks. You can I'll let it so you can turn PVP on or off. This, okay. This, if you really are trying to get target practice, like someone doesn't come along and just wipe you off. Yeah, and just you know? like screw you over as yeah. some newbie. Um. So yeah, I have it so you can turn your ship's PVP on and off, and then um. Okay. You know, so that'll be in an update in a couple of times. So you can. Cool. So you can. Edit that any way you like. <laughs> awesome. Um, as far as like different scenarios, what are some of the ones that you have either made or planned? Okay, so um, right now I have this transport escort, which we're doing. Um, I have the kind of reverse of this, where um, a, the bad guys have a big ship and it's trying to get away, and you have to stop it. Um, I have one that's like um, there's like this kind of outpost in the center. And then all of these gigantic torpedoes are coming towards it, and you kind of have to intercept those torpedoes and blow them up before they get to it. Okay. Um, cool. There's another level with this kind of weird anomaly thing in the middle. It's this glowing, spinning thing, <laughs> and it kind of zaps um, random things. So, um, alien ships and human ships, it will zap them, and when it zaps them, it ends up like taking down their engines or shields or something temporarily. Okay. Um, Awesome. So, so yeah, it's pretty fun, and if you have a battle royal on that map, it's kind of cool because like you can stand a chance versus a, a big ship because they might get zapped, and you can just yeah, you make the jump on them, you know, and it makes a little bolt of energy and stuff. It's, it's cool. Awesome. Um, and um, there are these armada scenarios where there's 14 alien ships, and we were doing like six single single player ships versus 14. Um, alien ships, and we were doing a very bad job. <laughs> um, but it's but it's it's cool. I mean, that's like you know, twenty ships playing in one scene. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because the single player ships—that's the one I was messing around with the other day. Um, they're just like small fighters. Yeah, the small um, fighters—they can cloak. 
So if yeah, if, the cloaking was pretty cool. Yeah, if you cloak, you can't get um, you can't people can't lock on you. But you can see okay. here this this guy's cloaked now, and we you can, can still see them a little bit from their yeah, engines. Yeah, you can see his engine trail, so you can kind of lead with those. Yeah, start. Um, who's engineering? Oh, dude, drop this guy's um weapons. Got it. Oh, never mind. They blew him up. A little late, but <laughs> I, I still got it. <laughs> Whoa, hey. I, I'm fired from the engineering position. Yeah, this is your uh, last day working IT here, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? All right, we got some cruiser, a fighter. We gotta take out this drone that's flowing okay. in here. Oh, dude, some other some other ship just joined our battle here. Was it the Iron Maiden again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's probably gonna try to shoot us down, huh? We think he's friendly, but who well, knows? You know what? We've gotten better in the past t ten minutes. But the one, you know what? He's not doing anything aggressive yet. He's just kind of sitting there. Yeah. So oh, far, he's, he's, I think he's, he's gonna try to ram us or something. <laughs> Uh oh. All right, let's boost out of here. I think I think we're good. Did he? What's? You know what? These aliens are all pretty. If we take out this one fighter, we're probably golden. Ah! Oh man, he got us. <laughs> oh, the Iron Maiden. He has it out for us. All right. Um, boost the teleporter. Got it. All right, and then um. Uh, let me just tell this guy to jump us. Oh my god, we just lost this mission. We were so close to finishing it. And then the Iron Maiden <laughs> killed us. That jerk. <laughs> That's it. Next time I'm setting up private... Oh, uh, whatever. Alright, um... Okay, cool. So, uh... I'm just gonna have us do a battle royal with a bunch of single ships. Okay, yeah, that sounds fun. Let's do that. Then we can kill each other or kill the enemy. <laughs> so this is just humans versus humans. Okay, cool. How do I? Uh... Um, just go. So I have to create my create ship, ship. Yeah, first. just choose solo, whatever. Okay. Solo ship, and then choose battle royal. It should say that I'm in there. It tells you like like there's like a number one. And oh, okay, cool. I see it. The second prize is currently here, or whatever. Okay, let's try this then. Yeah, if you see um USS second prize or something like second prize, that's usually my uh my name. <laughs> okay, so we've got second prize. I think I'm the Pegasus. Okay. Um, been watching a lot of Battlestar Galactica lately, right. so. Uh, and we have the USS Black Ops, so we've got a couple people in here. Yeah, it's about three of us. So the space station is just uh, in space, the center of the map, right? It's just scenery. It's a, okay. It's a great way to break someone's lock on you, and um, you kind of weave through there. Kind of weave. This ship can weave through there awesomely well. But this guy's got a uh, this HMS. This person is a, a, um, a Kickstarter backer, so he has this trio ship. It's kind of okay. it's kind of shaped like a triangle. Um, it's a th you know, he might have a couple people on board this ship actually. Um, so can you you can still without enough people you can still start a ship that's yeah that's you, larger. Can, you can start a ship but yeah like right now he's not doing anything but flying around he might just like. <laughs> Yeah, so it's not ideal, but you can still check it out. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, no, it's cool. All right, let, well, I'm gonna try and take him out then. Yeah, I'm taking this guy out too. You know, what? I think there's kind of like an instinct, like if you're on a bunch of small ships and someone hops in with a large ship. Yeah, just kind of group up on just it. Kind of group up. <laughs> he's got. I think he just jumped away or something. He's got crazy teleport. This ship is really far. Oh man. Yeah. Well, that's, that's still, that thing takes a little while to recharge. Let's see if we can catch up to him. <laughs> I think we're hitting him. Oh, yeah, I saw yeah, his yeah. shields go up. You know, even without the lock, since it's a projectile, you can still hit the guy. Yeah. If he's just flying at you in a straight... Oh. Oh. That's all right. You can't kill all of us. <laughs> his shields are down. There we go. There we go. Nice. At first I thought I crashed into him, but now he just got me. There we go. All right. I'm going to take you out now. Uh-oh. Alright, this interview is about to go down south, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna start uh, battling here. And uh, he might be after you now. He might be jealous. Did you get him? Did you kill him? I made the kill shot, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna. I don't know what he's doing. I think this guy's a terrible pilot. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's either a really terrible pilot or just not very aggressive. I think this person usually plays science. So he's okay. not like in a. Uh, I don't know what he's doing right now. He's just kind of flying around. We've right. also got Black Ops going in over there. Yeah, that guy's serious, I think. 
I, got... so I guess we'll just have to see what happens. I got the cloaking devices happening here now. Yeah. Oh, I see. What's... Unfortunately for the uh, HMS Jemine or whatever, however yeah. you pronounce that, he doesn't have cloaking. I don't think. Right, so. right, right. Yeah. Um. Some. Um. Some of the ships are still being tweaked. I um, mean, now that I have more and more people, more people playing them, you know, I need to tweak some of their, you know, kind of balance them out a little bit. Yeah. I, I want to add some abilities to some of the other ships and stuff. Um, it's really cool. I mean, I, I get great feedback from people and. Yeah, I think it's a really cool idea to have uh, five people controlling one ship. I don't think I've seen that uh, in in any game that I've played. So. And the um, I like the, that the idea. fact that you can have these like little, it's really fun. Like when we do those little those transport missions or those other ones like you can have a fire player ship and a couple little singles and those singles can go wipe out these little drones while you're kind of looking at the main target you know you can do kind of stuff like that or yeah <laughs> it's awesome so is this <laughs> is this battle royale gonna is yeah. it just timed there's or is it gonna a timer on top and when it gets to 15 um when it gets to zero we get it shows us our score i think um, okay. the scoring has a little I just crashed into a space station. <laughs> <laughs> I just unceremoniously just crashed to a space station. Um, it gives us points. Um, um, I think my score counter is a little um, buggy. I need to adjust it a little bit, but oh yeah, it gives us a little um yeah. Okay, but it doesn't stop at like ten kills or fifteen. No, no, just... no, no. Right now it does. Like, okay. It does like fifteen minutes or something like that. Okay, cool. It seems to be a kind of a cool amount. Well, of... I cannot catch this guy. He just keeps jumping away. Yeah. Now somebody's shooting this, after me. Um, this is Black Ops. Oh, we'll take Black Ops here. You and I can team up on Black Ops here. I'm going to try and avoid him in the space station. He is. You know what? If I shoot him, he's, oh, he's, he's like, this guy's he's good at flying, this guy. Some of these people, like, they're... Like I'm not actually I'm not actually very awesome at this game. Like <laughs> even though like these guys can fly way better than I can, but I mean yeah. I know all the stats of everything. Like I know how much time it takes, you know. But this guy is awesome at flying. Actually, jeez, wow, he is like running circles around this thing. Yeah, I don't even know where he's at. I'm just he is like flying around the space station like he's lived here his whole life. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flying around it, but I I there think he, there he's. There he is. There he is, there he is. He lost. Oh, I just crashed into it. He just crashed too. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to outfly us to death. He doesn't even have to shoot anything. All right, I'm going to exit out and we can hop into a different mission. Yeah, we'll do this outpost defense. This is we're going to like fend off a bunch of ships from trying to attack this like little space station -y thing. Okay, cool. Um, this little one has these giant missiles. They're kind of funny. Maybe we'll do that one. Okay. It's got these funny giant missile things. Okay, so there's this little tiny, lonely little thing here, and these four gigantic torpedoes coming towards this thing. So we gotta blow these things up. Okay, cool. That's... Hey, this one looks a little different too. Yeah, that's got a little different scenery and stuff like that. I'm gonna um introduce like, some more stuff soon too after that yeah, Kickstarter too. Awesome. All right, let's see if I can actually hit the torpedo. That would be helpful. Yeah, we're getting shot at by something. Let's, um... All right, rerouting. All right, fighter two, take this guy out. All right. Fire the everything, everything. <laughs> Here we go. All right, come on, fire, fire the large, large cannon. Yeah, there is no ammo or anything. For some reason, I keep just firing the laser. <laughs> what about the large cannon? That should be ready, right? There you go. Oh, you get, you get the we lock missed. On. You get the lock on those. Ah. Ah. Oh, just, fire, fire. I guess we're just going to ram him. No, 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 I backed up. There you go. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I, I put us in full reverse. Okay, get this uh, this drone number three here. Oh, just crap. We're getting smacked. Uh -oh. We're getting really smacked around right now, actually. Here we go. Take this guy out. You have to get the lock on them first before you fire. Them. Okay, I see. I mean, I mean, if they're dead ahead, you don't have to, but if we're in, yeah. the, if we're in the middle. There we go. All right, our hole is taking a lot of damage. To teleport. Teleport. There we go. Straight into a torpedo, almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna lose the force equals mass thing. Yeah. Oh, someone just took my tat. Someone just joined my. Oh, well, maybe he's gonna be okay. Someone just grabbed helm. 
Cool. So we have a full five people here. Yeah. Oh, but I don't right know. as we die. I don't, know who, <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. We gotta, we gotta see how it goes. All right. So I'm gonna be like shouting voice commands at people. Okay. We'll see how this goes now. All right. All right. Target fighter three. Where is Fighter 3? Uh, I see Fighter 5, 4, and now Torpedo 1. the thing is, one. if this Helm guy sucks, I can eject him, which I might have to do very soon. <laughs> is there an actual animation for ejecting him no, into space? No, but it puts him into an escape pod that... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and the escape pod is, it's funny because the tractor beam, like, destroys this, this little... <laughs> oh my god, this guy is, like, really slow and flying here. Alright, fire, fire everything on that, on that fighter. I think it was locked. There we go. Okay, we're doing some. What's going on here? We gotta take out these torpedoes. We've done no damage to these. Yeah. We gotta target torpedo two. We haven't done any damage to these things yet. Okay. It, well, he's he's going for cruiser two. I guess. Okay, he's going all the way the other way around. I might have to eject this guy. He's like, it's <laughs> interesting. Oh, my AC's doing it. He's just a little slow. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's try this. We need to do some more damage. Yeah, these torpedoes seem pretty you can, tough. You can hack They're that huge. thing and drop its engines. Hopefully he doesn't ram us right into it. Oh. Yeah. Well, we got we got shot. We're getting shot at like crazy here. We're not doing a very good job on this one, but we're having a good time. <laughs> What's important? Yeah, that's the important part. Let's keep going towards Torpedo 2, everybody. I'll get on that this time. Thanks, bro. <laughs> This guy is like a, a, asleep at the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Boost right, engines. We're, we're slowly going towards Ooh. Torpedo 2. There we go. Okay. If something's firing at us, drop its and drop its weapons. All right. I think. Oh, I'm I'm too far to lock on. Actually. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you teleport us a little bit? Okay. There we go. Yes, yes. What the heck is firing on us here? Alright, I've got a lock on my torpedo. My torpedo is not as strong as his torpedo. <laughs> keep firing, keep firing. Alright, my can large cannon's almost up. Ah! ah. Man, those torpedoes are tough. They have a lot of... They don't have any... Sh oh my god, we're going to lose this one pretty big. <laughs> Every torpedo is going to hit the space station. <laughs> Every single one. I'm going to eject that guy. <laughs> Alright. And get then we can shoot his escape pod as well. <laughs> okay, we have to at least get torpedo number two done. All right, here we go. Oh, I thought I was locked on, but I really wasn't. Oh yeah, oh, I see you. Got a hit. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. All right, fire. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> no. Oh, no, there we go. Yeah, we got I one. He was inches away. We got one. I think we're pretty much screwed on the other fronts, though. All right, this guy right here. I don't know if we're going to do enough damage quick enough. Yeah, we need to do a lot of damage really quick. Oh. Oh, our space station <laughs> is dead. <laughs> and now we're going to hear some sad music because we lost. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I mean, the game looks pretty cool so far. Cool. It's awesome that you've got a, a playable demo up. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of Kickstarters get started before they even have anything to show for it, so I think it's cool that we can try it out and take a oh, look at yeah. it. yeah. I mean, at this point, you know, I'm really trying to um, uh, put it on Android, which is going to happen because it, Kickstarter is funded. I have a stretch goal for the Ouya, which I'm not that far from, and I, I think I should be okay uh, to do. And then um, I need to do some tweaks and some updates and stuff. And then um, I'm going to be updating the voice chat stuff, uh, making a lobby system so that people can kind of coordinate ahead of time and 
and just some other, um, I mean, I'm, I've gotten great user feedback and I'm kind of organizing some of those requests and stuff like that, which is cool too. Yeah, and, it, and it's awesome. cool. I mean, I hop on people's ships, you know, <laughs> like at night, come home, hop on people's ships and stuff like that. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's pretty I'm cool to be it. able to come home and see people playing something that you oh, made. That's awesome. I love it. I can like open up my iPhone and be at a restaurant and be like, man, there's like six people playing right now. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool that like I can just see people playing my game that I don't know how they found out about it or how they got there or whatever but it's actually that's like kind of actually the best part of the whole thing you know? yeah awesome well hopefully uh this helps more people play your game yes <laughs> yes so everybody that was quintet and if you'd like to try out the demo for yourself go ahead and click the link in the description and other than that my name is Philip, and i hope to see you guys again soon